Hey, I'm Doc with Doc's Hunting Stuff. This is our new Tidal Marsh and River Rig. I'm going to take a few minutes here and show you how this thing works, give you some pointers on it so you won't have any problems with it. But this is what you'll start with. Reach in, pull the carabiner and the lines out just like this. Set them off to the side. Just reach into the box and you're going to grab the clear line and a black line. They're going to be hooked together by a 250 pound stainless steel swivel. Then you got a 250 pound coastal lock swivel here. The weights are 2 ounce and 8 ounce. Take your first rig out, go ahead, hook your decoy to it, set the decoy and the anchor to the side, then reach in and just repeat the process. And work through the entire box that way until you got all 12 decoys attacked. After you get them all put on your decoys, this is what you're going to have. This is an absolute must with these decoy lines. This is our tangle proof bottom loading decoy bag. All of the lines come out of the bottom there and hook onto these handles and that's what keeps them from getting tangled. When you deploy these, you're going to pull the carabiner off like that. It will keep all your decoys in there nice and neat like they should be. When you're ready to deploy, you simply Roll the bag upside down like that. Slide it off. And there are your decoys. Next step is pull off your carabiner. Unhook the carabiner. Hold the lines in the middle like this. Reach down and grab a black and a clear line. Like that. Pull it out of the bunch like so, and then throw it. Now, what I prefer to do when I'm in a boat is I will just simply drop the lines like that. Work from the decoy. Grab the decoy by the head. The first loop is going to come up right under the decoy. Grab that loop, pull it down. The second loop is going to pop right up like this. Now, I can launch these decoys. Ahead. Grab the decoy by the head, first loop, second loop, and the second loop is going to come up right underneath that, that two ounce lead. There you go. I'm going to show you how simple it is to pick these decoys up too. There's no winding lines once you get them up out of the water. Get up to your decoy, pick them up by the head, Grab the first loop and the second loop, and then hook it back on your carabiner. Now, typically, what I'll do is I'll just drop a dozen in the bottom of the boat as we go, get them all, get that dozen in the boat, put those back on the carabiner, put them back in the bag, do them a dozen at a time. Unbag a dozen, put them out. Unbag another dozen, put them out. When you pick them up, pick up a dozen, put them back in the bag, set them aside. Pick up a dozen, put them back in the bag set them aside. If you follow that, if you do that, you'll never have a problem with these guys whatsoever, I promise. Now, once you've got your decoys back in the boat and you got them all back on the carabina, we're going to put them back in the bag. Just take your float, slide it up through the bottom, pop it through, pick your decoys up, pull the bag down over them like a lampshade, reach underneath and grab this handle, Bring it to the other handle, take your carabiner, hook it back on, and that is how you secure your decoys. If you have any problem with these decoys, feel free to call me. My number's on the website. Call me anytime. I'll be happy to walk you through anything, give you pointers on how to use them. We're going to also show some footage now of Kyle putting out and picking up these decoys, as well as some real-time footage of a hunt that we did last year in Mississippi. So you guys have a great...
two minutes. Thirty seconds exactly. It's no, it's on the screen.